Hello everybody, Lego Baby Two here. Today I'm gonna to show you my 1x2x2 USB drive. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this quick video to show you my new mod that I made. Uh, I made it over the last couple of days. I actually made it out of Legos and some miscellaneous other stuff. And you see, it actually is a functioning 1x2x2. Uh, you can turn it just like that. And then you can just pull them apart, and the side is a functioning USB drive. And it's like 8 gigabytes, I think. USB drive that I made this out of, it was like $5, it was on sale. And so yeah, I got that not knowing what I would make with it, but yeah, I decided to make this. And the spinning part is actually the thing that the USB uh, goes into, just like that. And I actually made this out of a chapstick container. The thing that uh, is in here is actually the lid of it. And then underneath it is the spinning part of it, and so that spins around really nicely. And to make this little USB holder, basically I got a bunch of hot glue and filled up both sides of the cap, and then I just put some Lego plastic on here, and it just uh, looked really nice when I was done. There we go. And again, this uh, actual Lego brick, well this brick is actually made out of Legos, that's what I meant to say, uh, both of them are. And I just dremeled a big hole in both in the middles of both of them. And, uh, by the way, this USB thing is also encased by a chapstick container. So yeah, I used Milliput right here to encase this thing. Which, actually, I think I did something wrong because uh, when I stick these together, it's actually, not, it's actually not flush. There's a little gap in between. And it's also a little bit crooked. But, yeah, those are just some tiny little errors. But yeah, it was actually sticking up way too much, so I sanded it down a little bit, but yeah, it still doesn't look the best. And if you look closely here, uh, you can actually see the cracks of where the Legos were pretty easily. Um, so yeah, I didn't uh, just take the time to want to like fill those or anything. That would be a pain trying to fill those with uh, epoxy sculpt or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, as for the stickers, I cut them using some custom cute smith uh, sheets. I just cut them out with a knife. Just kind of roughly estimated the size of them. Uh, if you look up really close, uh, you can tell that they're not perfect, uh, but they look pretty nice. And I decided to go with the look of the burly trimmed stickers on the sides. I did trim them using a nail cutter, but yeah, I kind of like it as opposed to uh, like a something like this that has pretty curved stickers. And also, I don't know if you can see this, but where the actually they goes meet, you can see. Oh yeah, you can't see that in the video. Uh, there's like the lines. A couple of the places I didn't like clean it off very well, and so there's a couple of bumps somewhere. If you catch the light, you can see it like that. As for the turning, it's not obviously not the best. It's just a container of chapstick, and there's a lot of friction rubbing against the, uh, the edge because I didn't want to make it too big, but it ended up being a little bit too small. I guess I could lubricate it for fun. There we go. It's not gonna do much. But there we go, it's lubricated now. <laughs> so, eh, it does improve it a tiny bit, but whatever. So yeah, I really don't have too much to say about this. Just a quick little review-ish kind of thing, just showing me my mod. Uh, there we go, it's better. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave us comments below. And if you want to see a tutorial on this, on how to make this, uh, leave a comment below, and I will consider it. And there's also... Another type of LEGO USB drive that I want to try out making soon. Uh, I mean, Rubik's Cube drive, not LEGO. But it is made out of LEGOs, but whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!